Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Relax with RimWorld. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be a little relaxing this time. Things aren't too bad. We have a few injuries, and we have some fires, but we're dealing with those fires now, and as you can see, we have a number of dead bodies hanging out the front of our cave, and uh, we survived. We survived no attack from Toxo Abiconero. At least I think that's what the tribe is called. Um, they have been a bitter enemy of ours, and they broke into the Doom Tomb, um, and they set all of this on fire, which is really unfortunate. I think we're going to have to move this, so I'm probably going to go ahead and delete that one now. And we're going to look at growing some medical plants along the side here. Um, perhaps even just in the shade here. Actually, no, that's where our graves are. We don't, we don't want that. No. Um, we might look at possibly building them here. Uh, where this actually it's one great big potato field isn't it is it is it though no it's not okay yeah see if we change that from potato if we change that over to the um heel root then that'll be that'll be good now Enza Enza does need to go and um rest I don't know why he wasn't resting yet um we do need that to be done sooner rather than later uh as he is actually injured not not too badly per se it's mostly bruising, eh? as we can see, it's bruising, and the bruising will heal. So um, Felix should hopefully come and do some treatment there. Now Felix is, yeah, still bleeding actually, unfortunately, from the from this great bow. Wasn't too bad of a wound, but uh, something that we might want to get checked out. So we're going to prioritize treatment there. Um, looks like Aulus is uh, getting the cook on at the moment, which is nice. Good to see. We're going to get some meals done. Storm is researching. Very good. And hopefully we will see some more um, some more mining done here very, very soon. Caitlin is just having a little bit of a relax though, which, you know, I don't I don't blame her. Now Chip is also just relaxing socially at the moment. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and interrupt that. And we're actually just going to go and strip these uh, people of their wares because, uh, well, we, uh, we're going to we're going to need them. So let's um let's just go through and strip it. Each and every one of them. And hopefully these corpses will be dragged away. At some point or another. Yeah, so we can prioritize the hauling of them. So there will be some hauling done in time. Now, I, yeah, I want to get the storage room up and running, but I also want to get these bedrooms built first. So we're probably going to focus on getting those uh getting those built. I'm going to have to chuck the door up again on here. Which is, uh, you know, we're, we're just going to have to keep on building it. Because I think that's going to be something that people just go for time and time again. Because the, it's, it, they see it as being part of our home. Um, which, you know, I'm, I'm fine with. I'm cool with that. You know, let them let them do it. See if I care. Um, but in, uh, in an ideal world, because this is what they come and attack first. I would want to create this as our military area, like I was saying last time. So that they can have quick access to it. But then um, kind of try and set up um, bunkers of sorts. So there'd be doors that you'd have to go through to get to them, uh, and but they'd be able to fire out from there, you know, with their great bows or something like it. And I might, you know, I'm in two minds about where they'd, they'd be. I think they'd all just be kind of like single lanes, um, just so that like not a whole heap of people could kind of squeeze through at the same time. That would be my general idea for that, at least. Okay, what is everyone else doing? We're getting some uh, potato plant hauled because, um, yeah, this is all ready to harvest, so... I'm actually, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to see that happening, more food coming in. Um, we do have a lot. Like, we have a lot. Uh, I'm not so concerned about food anymore, but it can run out quite quickly still, so, you know. Uh, the amount of pemmican we've got is pretty awesome. Um, we've, uh, again, like, look at this, we've got another, you know, few stacks of pemmican as well, so it would be nice to see those hauled into place. Felix, uh, have you stopped bleeding yet? You, you're kind of slowly getting there um, so I think we're gonna we're just gonna have to go and find Felix Felix's bed and just turn that into a medical bed and just get Felix to rest for now um, because songbird songbird unfortunately is just still wandering around very sad and somber um, this this probably doesn't help having having this mess all around like this um, maybe I could get um, Aulis to help out for a little bit with that do a little bit of the cleaning side of things yeah you know what we actually do need that um so i know felix is our main kind of cleaner or was at least 
Wow, I put you on four. I really didn't want you cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Felix isn't isn't resting. I asked him to rest, but he's decided against it. So, you know what? Because Enza changed beds. What the hell? <laughs> Why'd you do that, Enza? Oh well. Oh well. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna let Felix be. I think he, I think he, oh shoot, are you kidding me? No, this is why you don't do that, because you get a, you get an infection from a, from a minor cut. Oh, god damn it. That's why we don't do that. Oh, Felix, buddy, let's not get your hand amputated. Oh shit, that sucks. That's not good. Okay, we need to, we need to treat him like right away. Uh, and unfortunately Songbird, I don't think Songbird's coming back anytime soon. So how do we how do we how do we do this? How how do we how do we do this? <laughs> who is who is our next? Okay, I think Chip might be the next physician. Chip, you're gonna have to do it, buddy. I'm gonna need you to do some doctoring on Felix. Let's see. There we go. It's a good thing that we actually do have some medicine left. Not a hell of a lot, but we have some, which is uh, comforting. Oh shit. That's why you gotta treat it, you know, even if it's a minor wound, treat it. Just, uh, oh, actually Songbird, Songbird, you're back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we'll let just chip. Yeah, go back to sewing the area. Songbird, we want you to consume some Pemmican and then I want you to come over as fast as you can and do this. No, don't rest. No rest the wicked. We need you to treat poor Felix here. Man, we're, we're filling up that, uh, filling up that, um, fridge again very, very quickly. Uh, you know what? We should actually chuck a door in it as well. I didn't realize we didn't have a door. <laughs> we need a door in that fridge. And, uh, we're actually getting a bed constructed here. So, Chip, congratulations. You are the first person to get that. And for some reason, I just got dropped out the game, but we're back. <laughs> so, hopefully nothing too weird happened there in the record. Um, no idea why that happened. Um, but we're back. We're back here. You can see the uh, terrible resolution I'm running my uh, monitor at the moment. It's weird because it's it's a 4K monitor, but I'm running RimWorld in 1080. Because if you run RimWorld in 4K, it just makes it impossible for anyone to actually read anything in the video. So uh, it's not ideal, not ideal. Um, so I think that treatment actually happened. Infection minor. It doesn't say untreated. So I think Songbird did the treatment. Yes. Yes, she did. Because she took one extra over there with her. Oh dear. Um, Enza is healing up. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Enza's actually almost fully healed. And the day is coming to an end. And we have all these dead bodies hanging out here. So I would love, 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 love us to do something about that. So I don't know who's going to be able to haul. I mean, I know Felix was usually doing um, a decent amount of hauling for us, but would be nice to see some bodies getting out of here. Enzo, what are you doing? Stone cutting. Yeah, that's cool and all, but I would rather you actually help us out with the uh, hauling. But you can't do! Okay, so that's a no. That is a no for that. Um, but uh, perhaps we could get Aulus to actually help out with that just for the time being. So... Just for temporary, actually, you know what, let's just tell him manually to go and um, prioritize hauling them. And we'll just do this for each of them out here. I think he's... Oh, I thought... Right, he tricked me. I thought he was uh, thought he was actually doing that for all of them. So, uh, unfortunately, he wasn't. But we only have one more to go in. There we go. All done. Poor mood. Who is it going to be? Aulus. I'm not surprised. He was getting upset, but um, he's yeah, he's just back to work. Just getting back to work. What a good dude. Infection minor. That's not good. How's the immunity going? Okay, next treatment in one hour. Okay, the immunity is coming up, which is good. But the thing with the infection is that it does, it can sometimes move quite quickly. So we need to we need to be very aware of that, um, and just kind of hope for the best. Yeah, I I'm not surprised that Felix is in a poor mood at the moment. Oh, damn it. What the hell? Why did the bed get deconstructed? We were so close to finishing it. Weird. It must have just, like, decayed or something. That's in the way of the door. 
currently, so we need that to be moved. Um, Enza is just relaxing at the moment. Uh, you can't haul though, so that's not very useful. Solar Flare! Okay, that's not really a problem for us at all, because we don't have any electronics. Infection is now major, uh, but the immunity is at 50%, so we just need to, we need to watch this. We need to be aware of where the immunity is sitting at and whether or not we think we, he's going to make it. Because if the infection gets too bad, we are going to have to cut off his hand. Um, which I don't want to do. I really don't want to do that, but... Yeah, I mean, that would just, that would, that would not be, uh, not be ideal. Yeah, we don't want that. We really don't. <coughs> but if it happens, it happens. It, it sucks, but, you know, we just, we, we carry on. We do, we do the best we can. Triumph through adversity, that's what we're about in the Legion. I'm not gonna let, um, any little infection stop us. How are we doing, bud? 61% It's getting there, but this infection could get worse and the thing is it's much better for Felix to lose a hand than to lose his life I'm actually surprised we haven't seen more of this because you know the way that we're living as well You know, we're just living in a cave um, With still a lot of Neolithic technology Things aren't uh, Probably what they probably what they could be Damn, it takes a lot of work to put together this bed. You better fucking appreciate it, shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. He's getting old as well. He's probably going to die before he can use it. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Okay, set owner. Lordship. There you go. So this is no longer your room. We're going to go ahead. Oh, actually, you know what? We do need... We do need... Um, I'm thinking we might turn that into our prison ward of sorts. Um, we do need a medical ward as well, but I think it'll be good having a place set aside for prisoners. Yes. I think that will be a good idea. Um, let's go ahead and deconstruct this as well. Um, we don't need that anymore. And we will actually go ahead and chuck down another one in here. Just over there for now. Yeah. It's, it's you know, it's an average room at best. God damn, we got a lot of potatoes. <laughs> Just fucking potato city up in here. Uh, which is good. I mean, they're going to last. They, I mean, they're still, they're going to last for a long time. So... <laughs> We aren't going hungry anytime soon. We probably actually don't need to worry about growing so much. I'm probably actually going to take a lot of people off growing. Um, Chip, you're just going to be the designated grower, really. Uh, you know what? Let's let's actually put these guys more on mining at the moment. Putting you in two because I want hauling still to be at the top priority. Uh, but Alice, Alice, you are our cook though, aren't you? So, so maybe I do put that on two. Yeah, that, that works, because there isn't going to be any smithing or crafting happening at the moment. We can make metal weapons though, so I probably should look at chucking something down for that soon. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of this stockpile as well, because it's just going to start annoying me otherwise. So we're going to delete that stockpile. That doesn't mean that we do need to kind of try and work this area a little bit better than what we're doing at the moment though. So let's go ahead, look at production. We want to chuck down the tailoring bench, because... Um, well, we have the ability to do so now. Um, we're probably just going to use steel, though, because we, I believe we actually do have a decent amount of steel still sticking around. Not a huge amount, but we have enough to, to get these off the ground. And I want to have a little bit of room between each of them, so I think that's probably... I think that's doable. Now, Fueled Smithy, we're going to need to use wood to do that. Um, so, again, something for us to keep in mind. That's a lot of wood that we need for the brewery as well. Um... Again, something that's like probably a little bit more luxurious than anything. Um, it's not stored, but it is around, um, so we would be able to get some wood. Uh, oh, we do have a body out here as well. Um, okay, who's closest at the moment? Because I just want to get the bodies out the way, because um, yeah, otherwise that could um, that could really upset some people. Just seeing that you can't. Storm, what are you doing at the moment? You are researching, but I'm pretty sure you can haul. No, you, you can't. Okay. <laughs> Hin Inza can't. Caitlin is quite slow. Aulis, Aulis, you can. Not do it. Okay. Chip, I'm going to have to break you away from the mining, which I don't want to... Actually, I'll let you finish that door. You're, you're, you're earning your, your golden regal bed today. I know that much. Come on, wrap it up, buddy. Okay, there we go. You must have known. Uh, it's outside allowed area. 
Oh shit, are we still... Oh, I'm restricting them to home. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. Right, let's see. Get hauling. So Chip is the primary grower at the moment, so I'm hoping that he does... Um, well, stick to it, really. Because once they actually do get to their kind of full growth rate as well, you, you want to harvest them right away. So I'm probably going to need to try and keep an eye on when things do look like they need to be harvested. Um, but we're doing so well at the moment, I'm just not that concerned with food. It's more wood, actually, if I'm being honest, um, as to what I think we'll need. Um, but we, we've got our fueled smithy down, so I'll have a look and see what we what we can do. We probably want at least maybe one mace. I reckon we want one mace and um, I think we're going to go longsword over the Gladys. So let's go two longswords, one mace. <clears throat> I think that's a pretty good start. And uh, they'll be just made out of a, a metal source that we have nearby. Uh, but obviously we need to fuel it to be able to do that as well. And we need wood to be able to do that. So I'm going to have a quick look around the map. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, it's gotten severe. What? What is the... 89. 89. So... Well, 88. At the moment... At the moment, we're in a really tough position because there is a... There's a strong chance he could beat it. But there's also a chance that the infection could kill him. Let's just watch the immunity for a little bit longer. 89, 90. So, I guess my kind of question is, can he get to the, uh, can he get to 100% before eight hours are up? And I think he can. I think he can. Come on, dude, you can make it. 95%, 96. You can do it, dude. 97, 98, 99. Oh, oh, oh. I, I just saw something change. I freaked out. Come on, dude. Come on, Felix. Developed immunity. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, bro. Good job. Okay, he is now capable of walking. Okay, so just he's gonna have to chill for a little bit longer, I think. Oh, but we risked it then, you know, for a hand. We we definitely risked it. I probably could have called it a little bit sooner and gone for an amputation. Probably would have been smarter, but you know, we're risk takers here, and uh well we fucking took that risk. Oh jeez. Okay. Okay, we are right. We're doing okay. Um, this might actually be an entrance into the military area as well. We might be able to stack weapons and stuff like that in here. Uh, but in saying that, like, you don't seem to be able to stack more than one thing on a space, which is a little unfortunate. Um, so I guess we probably won't be able to do that. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? Uh, but the rooms are actually coming along. We can build another bed now, which is what we will do. Um, so let's go ahead and make a double bed and we're going to make it out of sandstone blocks just because we have so many of them It's kind of like our most prevalent resource at the moment and this is going to be Aulis and um, <clears throat> Aulis and Caitlin's room um, Just because we're, we're just slowly kind of work our way down at the moment But it looks like everyone's actually getting involved in the mining, which is kind of cool uh, It does mean that we'll probably be neglecting the, uh, the growing just slightly Um but it would be nice to see some hauling though. And it looks like Felix is actually... Wow! Fe hey! Felix! Felix is making some weapons. <clears throat> and uh, we will have to be kind of mindful of where those weapons end up as well. Uh, because again, like we just have stuff strewn kind of all over the place, which is not what I want. Uh, we, need to we need to work out a storage system of some kind. A, a, a way that we can store goods. Um, and raw materials as well like it would be good to be able to store say behind here like a whole room of rock chunks to be able to use for the <clears throat> for the blocks um so again i think that's something that we will do we will look at um designating some mining back here and this is going to be a raw resource pile so i'm, I'm gonna probably allow wood and a few other bits and pieces to be able to be made here i kind of almost want to leave some more space for the um for the fridge to expand yeah uh now the question is how do we get in there how do how do we actually access this space that's a good question i don't know yet <laughs> i'm thinking we might just do it kind of through here it does seem to be like a little bit of a choke point though but yeah 
So kind of enter through here and then just go back around to the storage room where you'll be able to find blocks, bricks, etc. It might slow down a little bit, um, which is annoying. Uh, you know what, maybe, maybe we do just need to go down here. So kind of have an entrance way in the center here and then just go down like that. I think that'll probably be better. And then we can just extend it as we need it. And then maybe we do have like a finished goods pile um, or a finished goods area, which would be here. That's not the same amount. That is the same amount. Okay. And I guess we'll probably allow transfer between the two. Uh, but that's, again, it's like more mining. I just, I do need to be careful with how much we are designating. On saying this, like when we all get together and just work on a project, it works really well. So sometimes I might just have to bite the bullet and just get us to... Actually, do we not have enough stored? It's saying we don't have enough stored. Um, oh, shit. It's because... Um, yeah, we've got 200, okay. It's because I got rid of the uh, pile. Well, the stockpile at least. No, just regular. Sandstone blocks, 100 and, no, 70. Okay, yeah, so we can make we can make a few of these beds, which is nice. Um, okay, chuck down a door as well. And we're going to set owner. We're going to assign um, Alice and Caitlin to this. Boom, there we go. That's your new bed. Great, and so we can get rid of this one now. So we will go deconstruct. And we will also deconstruct this as well. So let's um, go deconstruct on that and that. And we'll leave the door there for now because um, we might turn this room into something else. Again, might be prisoner ward, possibly. Um, you know what? Actually, that's probably what it's going to be. Prisoners here, medical ward down here. That could work. Uh, we don't want to have a huge amount of space for prisoners. I probably will still get rid of that bed and just kind of do single beds on the side. That could work out. I think that could work out quite nicely. I don't know why I built that up there. That was unnecessary mining. It's a it's a bad habit that I get into sometimes when I'm just planning out an area. I will do unnecessary mining, which is uh, definitely not the most efficient way to do things. Uh, but hey, look, things are coming together here. The cave is becoming more of a colony. Um, we're spreading out into the rest of the mountain. That could be good. It could be bad. Uh, we are low on medicine, which again, like that's not a good thing at all something that I will need to watch out for um, I'm gonna do my best to keep an eye on it and we do have we do have some heel root growing but it's gonna take a while for it to grow which means that I'm gonna to have to be very careful when it comes to our encounters from now on and try and just use them very very carefully and cautiously as to like when we actually need them for like really desperate um, situations well, that's actually going to wrap us up for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, a little bit more relaxing today. Um, we managed to do a little bit more kind of like town planning. Um, and hey, I think things are coming together. Things are going all right for us. And I hope it continues that way. Hope you'll join me in the next one. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>